Hello everybody and welcome once again. Uh, in this video I will show you how to uh, host your website, uh, static website on uh, AWS EC2 instance. As you remember I, uh, in my last video I show you how to deploy a Node.js application uh, so you can visit uh, that video and uh, let's get started with uh, our today's topic. So here uh, I'm on uh, AWS uh, management console and uh, I launched a uh, EC2 instance and if you uh, not familiar with the AWS and uh, don't know how to uh, launch your instance I will put uh, the link in the description and also in i button so uh, with that video you can uh, easily create your instance so uh, when you create your instance you can uh, see the page like mine so uh, I will start my uh, video first uh, we will connect our EC2 instance and uh, here you can see you have uh, many uh, connection uh, options here so uh, I prefer you to uh, just simply click uh, connect and uh, connect with your EC2 instance so uh, it's connecting and it's establishing a connection and here you will perform all the commands uh, that uh, I will show you so uh, it's launched so now uh, first we will uh, type sudo uh, su hyphen for uh, root user because uh, the root user have all the privileges and uh, permissions uh, that uh, uh, you want so now you can see uh, I am a root user now I, I will uh, run some commands and uh, uh, I will also provide all the commands in the description so you can uh, copy and uh, paste uh, in your terminal and uh, uh, it's much easy for you so the first command uh, uh, I will use uh, I will first uh, update my machine because I uh, newly launched uh, the machine so first I will update my machine so this is the command that you can use to uh, update your uh, fresh instance so it says uh, that uh, you don't need to let's get uh, download and install a web server that uh, we need to install our machine because uh, we will run our uh, website through a web server so yum install httpd and the hyphen y this is the command uh, for install httpd server as you can see it's uh, installing and it's completed now we will check the status of our server for that we will type system ctl uh, status httpd uh, as you can see here it's uh, now it's uh, inactive so uh, after some time we will act, uh, activate that now uh, what we will do uh, is we will do uh, uh, and create a, a folder with the help of uh, mkdir which is uh, used for create a directory and we will create a temp directory okay now we will go inside that uh, directory you can uh, use the tab key for autocomplete now we are in our temp directory 
here we will download our uh, website so now I will show you this is the uh, web website or a link uh, where I am using to uh, get a free template so you can uh, use any one of them so in for this tutorial I will use this website and this is a static website so we will just copy the link of uh, this template and uh, go back here and uh, now uh, we will download that uh, template with the help of uh, wget and uh, the copy and paste that URL and here we will do one thing that we will download the zip file for that you just type dot zip enter and uh, if I show you LTR as you can see uh, I have uh, that template in zip format so what I will do I will unzip that uh, folder with the unzip command and I am auto completing now I'm unzipping all the files and uh, now if I show you you can see uh, we uh, we have uh, that folder which is uh, now unzip so now uh, I will change my directory and uh, now I am in my uh, in my file or you can say that uh, folder and now you can see here I have all the data related to our template so now uh, I will move everything move everything in var www HTML because uh, we will move that uh, all the files in uh, var www HTML folder because uh, when we start our uh, web server uh, the, uh, the web servers uh, default path is uh, var www HTML so uh, it will redirect with that path and show all the files and all the result uh, uh, through that folder everything is moved so if I go back to my instance and if I copy my public IP and uh, paste here it's showing me nothing uh, it, it means that uh, our web server is not running so now it's time to start our uh, web server Now I will uh, enable and start my uh, web server.
with the system CTL enable HTTPD and also start the web server Now if I go back to my IP, now you can see the template is showing the result and uh, this is the way uh, and it's a very easy way to uh, host your website on AWS EC2 instance. You can uh, do further changings related to your website or your own website and uh, this is the way how you can uh, host your website on EC EC2 instance so this is it for this video thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll see you in next video thank you